Hey, we are Tokyo Tower, and we are here with uh, Smash Press answering some of your questions. Yeah, we are feeling good. It's been it's been a while. We are um, a little. We are excited, stressed, nervous, happy. It's like a mixture out of like a lot of feelings because. Uh, we're preparing our tour right now and it's it's just so exciting like we are gonna hit the road uh, pretty soon and um it's just exciting like the last couple of days are always a little nerve-wracking because then you put like the final final production together and it's final rehearsals so um there's a lot going on like uh we don't get much sleep but um yeah we enjoy it it's a lot of fun too <laughs> thank you um, well, we we kind of took a break for a year uh, and didn't really do anything. Uh, we just had to like get away for a while um, to find new inspiration and um, um, the like new energy to make music again. Because we were kind of exhausted after touring for so long and after the last album, and we didn't really know what to do. So it was just important for us, like personally, to like like get away, live life, live life. And uh, Tom and me moved to America and. Um, yeah, so we didn't really do anything for a year and then we slowly started to make music again and we built a home studio and we started writing and um, uh, yeah, got back into, into the music and then we were just writing, we had no pressure and we didn't know when we wanted to put it out, we just wanted to be super happy with the album, so um, yeah, we, just, we were just making music the entire time and then it took a little longer than we thought. <laughs> um, well, LA is like the perfect city to um, hide. Yeah, exactly. Because there are so many people that want to be in the limelight and they want to be famous. And um, so for us, for the ones that don't want to be recognized, it's like perfect because we can hide behind those people. And we're just trying to like, you know, we're just living like a super normal life. Like we didn't do like any events or interviews. We didn't give any interviews for a couple of years. Um, and no photos and no nothing. So we're just trying to like stay out of this whole scene completely. Um, and we just did like all the normal things. And LA was the perfect city to do that. Sounds um, great. We yeah. went over a couple of. Times we tried not to see us uh, <laughs> that often, much. But <laughs> no, but yeah, for sure. I mean, like the whole producing of the album too is like. I mean. It got so easy nowadays, too. I mean, like, the location doesn't even matter. I mean, we recorded in, like, studios in Berlin and Hamburg and L.A. and, and pretty much all over the world, and a lot of stuff you can do without even seeing each other, you know. Which is great. Which is amazing, because, like, we hate each other, so it's, <laughs> it's great. No, but, uh, no, it was, it was not a problem at all. I mean, I, I didn't really feel like we were living in different countries, even. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we were in constant contact, yeah. We always knew what the other is doing, so. Are we a band for 15 years now already? Yeah. Crazy. 2000, right? Or 2001? Yeah, 2000, yeah. 2000, something like that. Yeah. Mm, I mean, they're still living here, so I don't, I don't know. I mean, we love to spend time here, and we love... I feel like if you don't live in a country, you can appreciate it much more, you know? Because then you always only go for vacation and uh, you only see the good sides. So yeah. it's fun. I mean, we love Germany. We have, a, of course, a strong connection with that country because it's our home country. And um, we love to come here. So I don't know. I think just living-wise, it's for us, it's like much easier in other countries. But um, yeah. And I think in the next year or a couple of years it doesn't really matter too much because we're on the road most of the time yeah we just sleep in the tour bus and yeah i think i think especially this year i mean it's going to be crazy yeah. so um well it's it's kind of relaxed too like in la because there are so many people that call the paparazzi because they want to be um in the tabloids in and the tabloids and stuff so if you know like the spots where you shouldn't go like most of the time you can try to hide and but i feel, and I feel like people know or like especially photographers and all that kind of people know that we don't like it yeah so i think they try to leave us alone. a little bit yeah most of the time most of the time yeah in germany that you don't really have paparazzis here like yeah. it's a kind of like you have that like 
Yeah, Every but, once in a while, but like it never really happens. Like it's it's. Or if you have an event or something like yeah. that, like you have a lot of photographers like being outside waiting for you. But to it's just, just not the country for that. Like France is always crazy. Yeah, France, France is it's crazy. Like they have a lot of paparazzi, but uh, Germany not really. No, because there especially are, Magdeburg where Gustav and we live. Like there isn't no even one. a photographer. There's not even a camera. There isn't even There's a camera, not even a camera, in, camera in the town. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was my idea to do something <laughs> for uh, the eight, the to celebrate eight years of monsoon. And uh, your idea, yeah. And like I like we just thought about like I mean we wanted to do something special with the fans and 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 I I thought like what would be amazing for them and really exclusive and I thought like it would be great if, if, if the fans can see us in the studio because like everybody was kind of like oh what the guys are doing and, and like nobody knew anything so it was kind of like really exciting to even and I think the two fans that won the challenge were the only ones that heard the songs at this point I mean not even the record company knew the song so so I thought it's a great um, great experience and it was a lot of fun though right it was, it was fun, cool, yeah. cool thing I bet it was but you guys weren't there mm-hmm. yeah that's true I missed it They yeah, were too late. But the fans didn't even know. Like they, 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 they were like, like no, they were just like, oh, it's the whole band. Like oh, they didn't yeah, yeah. even. <laughs> I was like, no, no, Georg and Gustav are missing. They were like, oh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, <laughs> oh, now I remember. Yeah, were these two other. Um, uh, I think we bit. still want to go to uh, Australia. We've never been there. Um, and then I don't know. Like I mean, we want to win a Grammy. Yeah. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I, I told myself I'm not going to stop till Tokyo Hotel is the biggest band in the world. And I think we're on the good way. Um, <laughs> and yeah. yeah I think you are. That's it. I mean, it's not, it's, not, it's not a lot on the bucket list. Just the biggest band in the world. Yeah, That's just it. very simple and easy. Very simple. <laughs> uh, it was exciting. We were a little nervous that we, uh, you know, won't like it because that would suck. Um, yeah. But... <laughs> But we liked it. It was fun. It's definitely, I mean, it's so different from anything we've ever seen before. Like the, the energy and the people and the fashion and everything is like way, way different. And it's super interesting. Even the music scene, everything's so different than in Europe or America. So it was a lot of fun to, to like go there and see that. And um, we've been there twice, actually, you know? Yeah. Uh, and we had a great show there and we even won an award. And the fans are very, very very sweet and um, we had a good time yeah it was for sure and I want to go back like I just, I'm just realizing that we haven't been there in a while yeah. and we still want to tour Asia this uh, year and, and, and we have to find a way to um, go to Japan and, and play there I mean we never really toured there we played a couple of concerts I guess but never like a real tour I want to tour there too I don't have to tour yeah. Um, uh, from time to time I think about it, but I'm too afraid of it. Like, I always wanted to do a he's tattoo. too much of a snob. Yeah. Like, he wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. he's a snob. But I want to I wanna <laughs> tattoo Georg. I just want to try, because, like, I always wanted to do a real tattoo. And I think... I think it would be fair if we all I think it would be fair, it. because he's the only one left, that, that yeah. we can all give him a tattoo. And if the fans really want that, spam his Instagram and, <laughs> and, and tell him. <laughs> Or my Instagram. If I have enough followers, maybe he get a tattoo from me, mm. right? And then Tom was back, right? Yeah, if I have more followers than Georg, without posting any picture, I'm going to tattoo Georg. Um, maybe What my, kind of t- t- my signature on uh, his forehead. Or hashtag talk. <laughs> or talk, yeah. I could do that. Um, oh, I have a couple. I don't know. Like, for me, it's... it's uh, um, I don't like think about it for too long. Like I'm not the one that's like looking for the perfect tattoo and thinking about it forever. For m- for me, it's like the same same thing with like you know all, all the other things I'm doing. It's like it's 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 about a feeling. And if I if I like something and I want it and I I have the feeling to like do it, I just do it. Like I'm not the one. Especially if you have an, like a couple of really bad tattoos, I think it doesn't even matter if you know. You're so fucking stupid. If you do more. No, my tattoos. I like all my tattoos. You know, I have, I have, um, I have a story and a certain feeling. You know, with like every tattoo I got. So um, I don't know, but I'm not the one like overthinking it. So, but I have a couple. I don't even know how many, but a couple. I want to have a tribal. A tribal. A tribal. Why? I don't know. Where? 
Yeah, it's I'm coming back. back. It's coming back. <laughs> Above the it's coming back. back. Next year. <laughs> I, 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 I have to do something. I always want to get, I want to get a, a really nice portrait of my dog. I haven't done that yet, but I have to find the time and the right guy doing it. That's but except that, as well. I'm 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 pretty behind with tattoos. So we have our birth time here, yeah, and, and then we have a matching tattoo. I have it here and I have it here on his arm. Yeah, we designed it by like on our. We talked ourselves. about getting a band tattoo. That's maybe something I would do as well. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be that'd be. <laughs> that's commitment, right? that's, that's commitment. commitment. Yeah. Well, I have our logo. In my on my neck, so and I, I I'm I'm still working on. I have a huge piercing uh, downstairs, and I'm still way like I'm still working on that, like to make it bigger and bigger every year. So that's my project right now. Yeah, yeah it would really help if we, if yeah. it would be a little bigger down there. Bigger there. Yeah. 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 Um, we would be homeless, I think. Because <laughs> we have no, we have no other. I mean, I don't know. I have no other passion, or you know, for me, like that's all what I wanted to do. Um, so I don't know. I never had a plan B. Like even in school, there was never something. Whenever people asked me what I wanted to do, I said I want to be on stage. I want to sing. I want to write songs. I, I never had another plan. No. Yeah, and I think yeah, that would be a dentist, maybe. <laughs> No, but that's, I think that's also helpful. Because if you have a plan B, I think you, you're going to suck with your plan A. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think it has a lot to do with um, the time in between. I mean, it, you know, it was five years um, in between the records. And I think it's just, you know, you get inspired by different things and your taste is just a little different and uh, you are interested in different music and... Uh, you want to try out new things as well. And it was the first time we produced an album. So um, it was the first time we had a home studio and we really had the time to sit and do everything on our own. So, um, yeah, there's just there's just stuff that happened, like, very naturally. And Tom would not, like, take his guitar. He would rather, like, program a beat or, you know, play something on the synthesizer and, and, and you know it was like the whole process was like way different than what we've done before and the good thing was we had no pressure so I think we just tried a lot of things we wrote a million songs and then and then we just picked you know our favorite songs and uh, Kings of Suburbia is pretty much a collection out of you know so we were songwriting for like four years so we just you know picked our favorite songs and uh, made an album that that we love and that makes sense and it's powerful and um, so it just kind of happened I don't know we didn't plan it before I think I think just um, life in general I think all the all the experiences we had in LA and all the people we met and um, all the parties and all of this that was really helpful because I had no inspiration after the last album I didn't even know what to write about I feel like my every day was the same we were just touring and I don't know I was I just felt like kind of empty and I thought okay I just have to you know live life and do normal things to get ideas and see other bands and go on festivals and you know enjoy other music as well because yeah. the truth is if you make music if you make music by yourself, like you never really listen to other stuff that much, you know. So I just, I just wanted to stop, you know, for myself, like be on the stage and just watch other people and see what they do and um, get inspired by them. And um, movies, movies always inspire me a lot. And then, and yeah. fashion and cities, traveling, like we traveled a lot. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, Mecklenburg nightlife was great. <laughs> yeah, great inspiration for me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like Georg is not inspired inspired at all. Like, he, 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 he was just like depressed the whole time. But it's, that was a great inspiration too. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think about that too much. Like we knew there are a lot of people waiting, and you know they want new music. But we didn't like. You know, we always want to make music that makes us happy first and the stuff we make in, in order to make other people happy. Because I think if you think about it the other way around and you just think about, oh, what do the people expect me to sing or do or write, it's going to be a mess. I think that this is not going to work. So for us, it was always just about being authentic and making the music we like 
and then hopefully the people like it too, you know? And then the yeah. time when you actually present it is like very nerve wracking. Because yeah. when you work on it for so long and we are such perfectionists, um, of course, it's like super nerve wracking when you play, you and, know? And when I, you put I think it out. in general, like our goal was more to like grow as, as artists, as songwriters and producers, and as a band and how we play together and all that kind of stuff. I think it was because like, you know, doing the same stuff i mean it's so it's, it would be so easy to pull off and record like you know the second one we did like we could always do that and and there are a lot of artists out there that just like you know keep it straight and, and always do what they are known for and what the fans expect but this is just not what we want to do and and what we think is is great for us personally and as artists and as a band like we want to continually grow and and you know find new ways and and do new projects and and be creative it was um it was it felt great I, i mean for me it was just so nice to not be in the studio with like any producer and i hate you know too much opinion from other people so <laughs> it was just great that like i didn't have like a couple of producers hanging somewhere and everyone has an opinion how it should sound like um, so we were like totally free, and, you know, for all the vocal recording, for example, was just Tom and me in the studio. I didn't have anyone else tell me how they think it should sound or the way I should sing it. It was just, um, it was just me and I just did and sang everything the way I wanted to and we made it sound the way we wanted to. It was just nice. It was so intimate it was just me and Tom and a couple of drinks and in our house so it was always very nice and so chill like no pressure and no you know nothing like that so I don't know it was just a lot of a lot of fun it was way different too because usually you have a studio and it's booked like for you know a certain amount of time and then in that time you have to you know get it done but like at, at home you can just go and then you're like oh today I suck I do it tomorrow yeah. and then you know that's, and also in that's general great. I mean sometimes it's, it's great to work with other producers just in order to because like you, music and producing is like you can learn something every day and it's, it's sometimes it's like really great if you sit together with like good people that um you know that are really creative and and have great ideas and 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 you know it's sometimes you can always learn something so this this is great but at the same time it's it's you know most of the time you have a lot of egos in one room like especially when it gets creative like all the people you know everybody has a strong opinion and and at the end of the day like i hate dealing with egos too so so i just love to be in the studio on my own sometimes mm. I mean, fun things are that, like, Tom always, he was very disorganized in the beginning. So sometimes we lose, we would lose, like, files and stuff we recorded and we had to do it all over again. And he lost, like, vocal files and stuff we already had and then we had to, like, re-record it. So, you know, that's just stuff that happens when you, you know, start doing it and you're doing it for the first time. Um, For That's me, the most fun part was when Bill was drunk and stepping in the vocal booth and tried to <laughs> hit some notes. <laughs> <laughs> just um, jamming. I don't know. We just had a... I don't know. It was just a fun time in general. Yeah. Because um, it just happened. Like, I felt I felt like when, you know, writing in German felt forced. And I that, was, that would be the case. Like, I would have only done it for other people and I didn't want to do that, you know. For the last album, it already kind of felt that way and we felt a little pressured to, like, you know, do that all the time. And I feel like there is so much that gets, you know, lost in the process of translating because you you write lyrics and then you can't always find a good translation and that's the problem for me so making this you know the same song twice it's just it's just it, it's just not real you know it's a little for me it's a little fake and i didn't i didn't want to do that anymore so if i write something in german you know that could happen but then i'm going to leave it in german or maybe there's even a brilliant translation you know one day and then i'm going to do it again but um i just hate to have that pattern that we have to you know make every song in two languages so yeah. we just said okay fuck it we're just going to do it in english because we like it better anyway so no more xenophobia no yeah, yeah. no 
<laughs> I mean, maybe. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, they, like I could imagine if we write a song in in as Bill said, like if we write a song in German, like we will most likely keep it in German and then put it on a record, maybe, and and have you know two German tracks and thirteen English ones. Like we're gonna know, play a German song on tour. Yeah. Ah, uh, ah, oh, that's super super hard to um, to tell. It's almost like you ask a mother what's their favorite child, but. <laughs> It's, it's like very easy, easy, easy for our mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. It's hard to tell. Yeah. It's, it it kind of like always changes a little bit. Um, right now, uh, I think we could, all, like all of us could pick like a favorite live song from yeah. the record because now we like um, arranged every song uh, for the live set. Um, and I for think, me, yeah. I, really, I really enjoy uh, um, a Masquerade, for example. I really like uh, Stormy Weather yeah. in the live set. I think that's a great song. It's a good moment. But just on the record, I do, I do. Changes. Yeah, I love. I I really love Covered in Gold. That's like a song. Yeah. Uh, I really yeah. like. Um, we just figured out while we were like rehearsing that we all really like Great Day. Yeah. Which is not even on the standard album. So um, yeah, it just changes. Um, not so much at the moment. Like, at the moment, we're just so concentrated on, in, like, you know, putting this set together and make everything sound amazing for the tour. And, um, but we have a collaboration in the making. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we always work on something. So, um, um, yeah, for, for sure. But it's not really that we're, like, in the writing process and making new music right now. <coughs> yeah, he went out oh. Because the day only the day only has you know the day only has like twenty four hours so yeah. we are um, so right now we're just from you know t from the morning till like late night we're just putting together the show but I think like on you know on tour we're definitely gonna you know ride a little bit and then ride after the tour and whenever we can just right now it's not a yeah. good time <laughs> um, I mean we'll see I think I think you know all the stuff we did for the promotion for the album and. Um, there was there was great. There was a lot of fun. We had a great show, a great little small show in Los Angeles, and um, um, and all the TV performances we had. We were in Mexico. There was a lot of fun, um, and Argentina, and yeah. uh, so we we had a couple of good shows. And I think it it, it just feels it's gonna feel amazing to like play the whole album and the whole set and share it with people and see, you know, the reactions and the feelings like right in front of you. So um, it's, it's gonna be, be so great. different too, like in. Because like the first part of the tour is like the club experience thing, and it's so small venues, and I'm I'm I don't know I'm super nervous that I get even more nervous when I have people that close, you know, like because like most of the time they're really far away, and you kind of like do your thing on stage, and it's a whole different thing to entertain people that are so far away, and and it's it's the first time for I don't know years, years that we yeah. played in in such venues, and so it's gonna be exciting. I said that. Not yeah, only I, on stage. I, mean. I was like, like, I was like, I'm missing some, you know, bumpy little <laughs> bass in the background. Like, where's that? And I was like, wow, it's, Georg is not here. But yeah, I mean, it I, I think I think it was fun. I, was it just the two of us? We played with some other people, though, right? Yeah, I think it was. That great. didn't happen. Yeah, but that didn't happen too. No, much. It, was it was just, just once, once. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we think it's a great. Uh, we think yeah. it's a great version. It's like totally different from. You know the our version. I feel like it's like way way different, uh, but it sounds great. I think you know. I think they're both like very talented singers, so it sounds good. For sure, I like it. I think you know. I think it 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 doesn't need to be uh, linked because it's you know because it's a, it's you know it's her interpretation of the song, so it's totally fine. Like we don't have any ego with that, and when we. When we heard that she wants to make that song, we were like, okay, that's great. You know, if other people, you know, enjoy your music and, and you know, they like this song, that's, that's just fantastic. So we are not mad about that at all. Like we, you know, when the record company reached out and we heard she's going to do it, we were like, you know. Of course, yeah. Of course, that's great, you know. So, um, yeah, from our side, we don't have like any ego bullshit bullshit going on or any like anything like that yeah exactly no i think she there's all uh, she doesn't have to i yeah. think i think it's all good i yeah. think uh, you know nobody has to feel bad fine oh yeah that's gonna be a very good video i think um yeah. 
Um, we wanted to make something that's like totally different from you know the the videos we've done for this album, and it's already the fourth video, which is crazy. Um, I don't even know if we ever if we've ever done so many videos no. for no. one album. So um, it's it's totally different. Um, Georg, uh, Tom, and uh, Gustav are playing the uh, the main role. Yeah, for sure. In the video, so it's it's gonna be not a lot of me, but a lot of like them because we just thought this time we want to make it totally different so i wanted to be in the background so i had a very chill day um and they had to do a little acting so we had great costumes no yeah 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 Yeah, acting was a lot of acting involved no but it's gonna be it's um so it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, very very different and it's it's like a movie so we are telling a story And um, we are different characters, so we didn't play ourselves. It's really like like a movie, and um, um, you know the inspiration for the whole video were my favorite movies. Um, you know, kids and uh, Christiane F. Kinder von Bahnhof Zoo. It's a it's a German movie. And basketball diaries. And basketball diaries. So it's inspired by that. So the whole theme is going to be this. It's about addiction and um, drugs and. Yeah, feelings and love and hate and pain and joy and um, it's it's a it's I think it's a very interesting video. I'm curious. <laughs> um, um, I I don't know. Uh, like I for me it's like the the moment you walk on stage and you sing your first note, like that's always super exciting. Like sometimes I feel like I'm gonna die. And then, you know, and then also it feels like great. It's just like such a strange feeling. It's like something you only have on stage. Like you can't compare that with like any other feeling or any, any, anything else you do in life. You know, it's even, it's, it's crazier than anything. I feel it's such a rush. So I don't know. I like that moment. And yeah. um, it, it's always great if you have, a, you know, a good connection. So I do also like the, um, you know, the strip down the acoustic parts in the show. Um, and I, I love the moment when I open my first bottle of beer in the tour bus after the show. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, and it's also great. And I played you, a good show. No, it's also great. If I played a bad show, I don't enjoy yeah, it that it's much. It's also great if you play, then you're like... you're not allowed to drink beer. I anymore. also like the last song of, like, every set, because that's, like, when you do the last song and you had a great, fantastic show before, you're so satisfied, and yeah. then you're like, oh, you know, everything went great, and the people liked it, and you had a connection with the audience, and if you are happy, that's also a great moment, so... I think, I think less than that. Less. Six, Six days. days. Yeah, we are. Six days is crazy. <laughs> uh, what can we expect from part two? Um, well, you know, it, it, we're just going to play a lot of different shows. So that first part is like very small. So I think we're going to extend that in a, in a couple of countries and do it in, in you know, more, more countries. Um, but then there's also going to be bigger shows towards the end of the year. Yeah. So we're going to play arena shows, like bigger venues. Um, and that's going to be a bigger production. It's going to be a different concept of the whole, um, of the whole tour. The ticket's going to be less expensive. <laughs> no, but it's like, it's just like, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's a totally different concept, you know, yeah. like that, that part of the, of the tour is just something we've never done before. And the rest of the shows are just going to be, you know, more like a regular, normal Tokyo Hotel show. So we are trying to like make, you know, different, different shows, you know, towards like the end of the year. And, and we're going to tour the entire year and we're going to come almost everywhere. So um, tour with the band together. Two yeah, bands, we have to yeah, choose two bands. So one I would love, I would, huh? I would love to play, yeah, to tour with Aerosmith. I, I mean, I, I, in general, I hate touring together with somebody because you like, I don't know, have to share the stage and like all that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I would love, I, so I, I think I would take a DJ then because he's just like spinning in, you know, on the catwalk maybe. And then you have the rest of the stage. No, I would love, I would love. He doesn't need a sound check. <laughs> no, all that kind of stuff. I would love to, to tour with uh, Deepesh Mode and Aerosmith. That would be great. That's a good choice. Yeah. Even though I would, I would suck after Steven Tyler because he's such a great singer. Um, so that, that would be hard. Um, that's hard competition. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, I just love the band, so that would be cool. 
Yeah, I mean, we want to say, you know, thank for, uh, thank you for all the all the patience and um, for all the love, and we just can't wait to, you know, finally come back and play the show. Um, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be fun and great, and we want to come more often for sure. We hope we can. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.